Hey, welcome to another episode of BeersAndBars.com. Today we're going to uh, talk about one of my favorite breweries here in Southern California, and it is Los Angeles Ale Works. And today we're going to be talking about Orange Tabby Lager. Um, now this is a collaboration with Adventure. Now Adventure, if you transpose the uh, the E with a three, it's an online, um, basically. It's owned by Zane Lampreyes. It's an apparel brand, and it makes gear for beer-loving travelers. But since I screwed that up, let me read the back so you get a, a pure understanding of what it is. So, orange tabby filtered, unfiltered lager. This zesty lager was brewed with oranges, citrusy hops, and was produced in collaboration with Adventure. Zane Lampreyes apparel brand. Adventure makes gear for beer-loving travelers and plants three trees with every product purchased. Los Angeles Ale Works and Adventure have partnered with Wren Rescues, that's W-R-E-N-N, -N, Rescues, which finds homes for kittens and cats like Chester, the tabby featured on this can. Now, not only do I like to drink lagers, I especially like to drink um, a beer that has um, some charity tied behind it. Now, this is a great cause. There are a lot of uh, cats out there that need homes. Uh, kittens, cats, also a unique thing is adventure gear for beer drinkers. Long past is uh, the stereotype that beer drinkers are just uh, couch potatoes. I mean, I don't dispel that myth. Maybe that's me, but there's others out there who like to enjoy a nice cold brew, craft beer, and also like to get out there into nature. Am I that guy? Maybe if I'm drunk first, but that doesn't matter. We're here to talk about orange tabby lager. Uh, one thing that got me, not only is it a lager, but it's orange. Now you might have uh, remembered maybe a couple years ago, one of the major brewers did have one of, the, I think it was Michelob or Michelob Ultra, had one of those, uh, it could have been orange or it could have been something else, but the difference between when the big guys do it and the little guys do it is that the little guys use oranges and the big guys use stuff that makes it taste like oranges. So remember that, okay? This is straight from the source. So let's go ahead and jump into this lager, which is 5% alcohol for value. Now, if you haven't, uh, been able to go down to LA Air Works right now they are offering uh, pickups so you could order ahead or go in and pick up some beer to go now a lot of local breweries are doing that so please do support your local brewery and if you can get out there make sure when you go out to the stores you are purchasing their beer so that they'll get an, a reorder and that way you're supporting them because once they place a reorder you know they get paid for that beer all right, guys, well, let's jump into Orange Tabby Lager. All right. Very nice. Let's, let's take it away. So, yeah, you could definitely see the haziness in it because it is unfiltered here. A little bit of carbonation, not too much. Head looks all right. Take a look at it. You can definitely get those set citrusy notes from the oranges. Sometimes I just want to drink it with my nose. Let's do it. Okay, maybe not. Let's try our mouth. Very good, very smooth. At the end, you get that citrus notes coming off the oranges, but very subtle, very nice. I mean, this beer doesn't need anything. What I like at the very, very end, and what I'm feeling right now, is maybe the bitterness from the orange peels, and that's what I'm getting right now. It's even right now, it's still lingering which is something that's, I mean, cool. I mean, you, you know, if you, if you drank a, 
What's that? What's that damn beer? The Blue Moon, where you add a orange thing to it, orange slice to it. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to cutting an orange and just adding it to the beer inside of it. Not that it needs it, but to accentuate it, maybe. Really good uh, tasting beer, really smooth, really nice. And what I like about LA Ale Works is that they got beers going from Russian and Tack, uh, Barrel Age, Triple IPA, uh, you know, 10 to 12 ABV, or they could drop it down all the way to this, um, or the Sum Sum that we reviewed earlier really low ABV something in the middle so I love a brewery that doesn't attach itself to one style doesn't keep hitting you with IPAs double IPAs triple IPAs you know everything IPAs or or like the bigger breweries that try to shove down that corporate beer down your throat you know these guys and that's why craft beer is different is that they try to bring you everything all the colors of the rainbow and that's why you know during, especially during these tough times please support them um, there's a lot of good people behind the scenes um, there's a lot of um, owners of these breweries who are sacrificing their salaries in order to keep as many staff members on hand whether it be canning delivering or which you know what there's available to do so looks like we're coming out of it um, there's probably going to be a little here and there tough through the year, through the end of the year. It's not going to be the same. Just 2020 is going to be a hard year. But um, hopefully we made it through the worst of it. And uh, we're better prepared if this sucker tries to come back around and hit us hard again. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry if one of your loved ones have been affected by this terrible virus. Um, and for the rest of us, take care of yourselves. And uh, if you haven't done so already, have a great beer and take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. If you did like it, please subscribe. Uh, let me know of any breweries out there you want me to hit up in the Southern California area. I'm not opposed to driving, not opposed to driving out of state, Arizona, Nevada, you know, somewhere close, not too far. Uh, I do it. If you want me to try some microbrewer out there i'm not opposed to trying beer wherever it's at all right guys well thanks for watching and if you haven't done so already have a great beer and if i said that again because the beer is that good thank you guys and cheers